Shalom. This week we read Parshat Ha'azinu, and it's called the Song, the Song of Ha'azinu, and it's written in the Torah scroll like the Song of the Sea. And in this beautiful song, Ha'azinu, beginning in Devarim, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, begins with the words, Moshe Rabbeinu Moses states, Listen, O heavens, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. My lesson will drip like rain, my word will flow like dew, like storm winds on vegetation and like raindrops on grass. Pashat Ha'azinu, this section of the Torah, is very profound. It contains an element of rebuke, an element of blessing and consolation, and we would need so much time to delve into its many mysteries. But just focusing on this opening verse, it's rather unusual that Moses calls upon heaven and earth and basically says heavens and earth should listen and hear what he has to say. And one way of understanding this is really for us to focus, especially now, this first Shabbat of the year, really, the first Shabbat after Yom Kippur, for us to realize the Torah teaches us that God is literally constantly speaking to all of us. At every moment, His voice is really resonating within our deepest being. At every situation, speaking to everyone and at all times. But, of course, it's up to us to listen so that we hear what it is that Hashem is telling us. And we need to know, first and foremost, especially now as we begin the year, after all of the different kind of feelings that we've had over Yom Kippur, feelings perhaps of fear and vulnerability and inadequacy, and now beginning the year and wondering really where we stand with God, we need to know that we are always connected to Him and that He's always speaking to each and every one of us. He really never removes Himself from us. Recall the, the verse in Parshat Vayelech about the time when Hashem will conceal Himself and we know that the worst thing is when we feel that indeed He's distant, that He's taken Himself away from us and we feel distance from Him. So our sages state that every single day, this is a very famous teaching, every single day there is a bat kol, which means a heavenly voice, a heavenly angelic proclamation. This bat kol, this announcement, goes forth every day from Mount Sinai and it exhorts us to repent. And of course, the holy Baal Shem Tov commented on this teaching of our sages, a very famous comment, his teachings are well known, and he stated, if this voice goes forth from Mount Sinai every day, but no one can hear it, what is the point of why God has it, bothers to have it go forth? What good does it do if no one can hear it? And he answered that even though on a, on a conscious level we don't hear it, on the soul level, on the deepest level of who we are, what you might call subliminally or subconsciously, we certainly do hear it. And it registers within, within us on a very deep level. And from that bat kol, from that voice that goes out from Sinai every day that exhorts us to repent and to come closer to God, even though we don't hear it with our ears, something inside of us does hear it. And that is where motivation and the thoughts of, re of repentance are born. They're born within us from the fact that on some level we actually do hear that heavenly call and we do respond. And that is what brings us to thoughts of repentance. And this actually is an example of this concept of the voice of God that speaks to us all of the time in every situation. But our goal is to hear this voice and to accept it and not to banish it, which is also something that we would like to do sometimes. This is one way, and only one way, of understanding a deeper level of the true significance of these words, Listen, O heavens, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. So as, our sage, as our sages teach, man is a composite. Man is a composite. A portion of him is his godly soul, which is hewn from heavenly material. 
but he also features earthly material. That's his, his animal nature. And this verse alludes to the necessity of man to see to it that all his components heed the word of Hashem. And you can look at it this way. Oh, heavens really refers to his upper, so to speak, heavenly organs, his heart and his brain, while let the earth hear the words of my mouth refers to those components of his being that are constantly pulling him down towards physicality and desire, his earthly nature. But the fact is that Hashem is constantly speaking to both parts of the person. And these words of Moses in his parting farewell lesson to his children, the children of Israel, listen, O heavens, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. These words also refer to every type of situation, because there are times when a person feels just as high as he can get. He feels that he must be in a tremendously expanded state of consciousness. He feels very illuminated, and he simply feels to be on the level of heaven. And during those times, a person feels that God is illuminating the darkness all around him and that he understands everything and he feels very close to God and he finds himself in a world of light. And during those times, he really literally can find God in everything with ease. And that's this concept of, listen, O heavens, and I will speak. But conversely, there is also a situation at times, other times when a person feels to be such a prisoner of his own earthiness that he feels that everything is closed in all around him. And that's the time of let the earth hear. Because God is always speaking with us. There are also times when we feel tremendous power of motivation and zeal and inspiration and encouragement in coming closer to God. That's the time when the words of the Torah affect us like the second verse, sometimes like rain, sometimes like dew, and sometimes like storm winds. And specifically now, after Yom Kippur, again, it's the most important time of the year where we're beginning everything all over again, and we're totally realigning our relationship with God. This is such a comprehensive lesson, and it's so really significant of the reality of the human experience and Hashem's understanding and compassion and the wisdom of the Torah in addressing this because the fact is that all throughout the coming year with God's help we're going to be progressing in our spiritual journey we're going to be gaining in strength of our closeness to Hashem our Torah study our belief our prayer but there are times when we are higher like the heavens and there are times when we are so low and that is the essence of man and there's nothing that we can do to control that except to go with it to flow with it and to realize that Hashem is always seeking us out always speaking to us in every situation it may be like heaven it may be like earth but the fact is it's up to us to hear that voice the voice that emanates from Mount Sinai that exhorts us to repent up, up to us to to imbibe that voice on the deepest level of our being and to utilize that blessing that He gives us to be able to hear it, to be able to feel its resonance and to realize that He's always seeking to be close to us would we but hear His voice.